Hey, yo, what's up? Welcome to my crib, yeah? No, it's not my crib. This is Simon and Randolph's new studio. Also, thank you to Dell for sponsoring this video. More about them later on. This place is massive. This is gonna be the place where they create content. They're gonna have their podcast area over here in the corner. And we all know Simon loves his game show videos. So we're gonna have this whole area for that purpose. Something important that I have in my own studio as well is a Colorama backdrop. And I'm thinking to have one right over here. So they have like a little remote control. You can bring down whatever color backdrop they want and it's made out of paper. That is a super quick rundown of what I'm thinking to do in this space. Of course, I'm gonna spend a little bit more time time uh, actually plan the things we need. But for now, I want to show you guys what we're working with. It's very echoey as well, isn't it? That's gonna be a problem. That's something we're gonna need to work on. The podcast set has arrived. Mm. Mm. Yeah, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. uh, fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, you glue it back on, it'll be fine. That is so sick. Teamwork, I love that. Oh, and we're not doing this, by the way, because anything broke. That's not why we're having to stick it back on on the thing that looks like it snapped. John has had a big, big part in this whole studio as well. You've put in a lot of time and effort to set things up. One of many of those things is the game show setup. So this is the desk where Simon's gonna be sitting when he does his game shows. And then we're gonna have another, what, two podiums for his guests. Hello down there, how's it going? Wow. That is pretty good. <laughs> See how much fun we're having like with a little cardboard <laughs> tube. Matt, do you do this when you're just at work? We do it all the time. <laughs> me and Lawrence have found a way to have fun. They call me Cyborg 69. They call me the Green Duck 3000. These guys are both university educated. Both of them. All right, the goodies have been picked up from the studio. Now we need to go down. It's time to go down. Yo, my name is Nathan. Why did I say my name was Nathan? Uh, your name is Nathan. You know your name is really Nathan. It's not <laughs> what a conspiracy it's theory. Nathan. Also, studio update. We've just picked up a bunch of kit. These are the Coloramas, and I'm going to transfer them to the Simon studio. Simon and Randolph studio, sorry. <laughs> Almost just called it Simon studio. Oh. You know, because he's got more subs. Uh-oh, I've taken the- Nathan! Nathaniel! Like, this feels like I'm dragging a dead body behind me. Come on, Suzanne. Should have listened. Now you're going into the ocean. Ah, oh, that went really dark real quick. Ah! Oh. Hi! <laughs> we carried all of that in. Uh, the majority of all of this is like light stands, lights, tripods. For the lighting, we have gone with your boys at Nanlite with the Forza 200, and we have a couple of Forza 60s. Do you think that I would be able to jump up in the air and put my feet straight through the box? Of I course think. you can. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the answer was no. I did it though. I did do it. <laughs> Didn't I? Did. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my bloody, you, you never bloody guess what this is. Power lead. Three, four-way bloody extension leads. Hey, we're, we're getting crunk up in here. Are we rich? You, Lawrence, if you want to be a really big winner, yeah. right now you can go plug the LED straight into there and everyone would think you're great. <gasps> The boxes have been unboxed. And now, I think I think we should put all the stands up like this. And then that way we know where to put all the lights onto. Oh God, I really hope we get to time-lapse it. That'll be really cool. 
You know what, I'm the type of person that gets hyped over <laughs> like C-stands. And we've got this one here. It's just so nice. They usually do them in silver and this one's like coated in matte black. It's just beautiful. I'm too much of a nerd, aren't I? Today's a Friday night. Yeah, this is a great way to spend a Friday night. Some people are out there drinking, enjoying themselves. We're here setting up a studio. And enjoying ourselves. And enjoy it, to be honest. Yeah, I'd rather be here than like a bar. <laughs> there you go. That's set up. Just need to rig the light. Then this. Also, uh, every Sidemen video you see us do, we do this on every shoot because we keep changing location. If we had like a Sidemen studio that never changed, we don't, we won't need to set up. We'll just go into the building and everything will be set up for us. So this is the idea behind this studio. We roughly have about two hours for each set. Is that yeah. right? Yeah, and it varies. We, as I'd say, we do between It's like, two imagine Breaking Bad. You know the season where they had the pest control business? That's basically what we're doing, but we're doing that with studios. Look now, because we have these wonderful wheels, we can now move it with ease. Nice, love that. Throughout this project, we faced many different challenges, such as late deliveries and booking up the right companies for all the different jobs that needed to be done that we weren't qualified enough to do. And with so many moving parts to this project, there was one tool that was there for me and helped me manage this whole project. My Dell XPS 17, the most powerful XPS laptop, built for creators who need serious power. This laptop is built to handle many different creative workloads. The battery life makes it ideal for day-to-day -day use and being carried around frequently. I use it on every single video project, whether it's on-the-go video editing or working on the budget for the studio build, sending emails, taking video calls. Even right now, the video you're watching was edited on this laptop. It has a slick design too. Upon opening the lid, you see the carbon fiber keyboard, massive trackpad, dual upward facing speakers, and a beautiful 4K display with thin bezels. Is that the Dell XPS 17? That is. Do you, know what, do you want to know what I'm doing on it? I am transferring all of the footage from yesterday to a hard drive. You mean you didn't do that last night? I didn't do that last night because I got back really late. I had some really, I did, I treated myself to a dinner, treated myself to, to some, Wait, so you're some steak. That, so you're saying that your your nourishment is more important than um, the Sidemen OnlyFans? I mean, this is due in two weeks, so we're good. I don't know, John. John? I'm also saying, you could call me John. No, I said Con. No, you called me John. I'm also saying, that's a lovely fingerprint smudge you got on your camera there. Oh, thanks. I find myself using the touchscreen more often than I originally thought I would, and the fact that it has a built-in SD card reader eliminates the need to carry around a bunch of extra dongles and accessories. I have the ideas my clients want, and the Dell XPS 17 has the power to make them happen. Check out the link in the description to find out more about the Dell XPS range. Jeez, it's hard work working hard. <laughs> okay, room update. It is a new day. We have a lot more new things that have arrived. Let me show you what they are. have a big Ikea desk. We're screwing in some caster wheels on there so it could be moved around easily. And then we have a standing desk. Shout out to our guys from FlexiSpot for sending me another beautiful desk. And this is gonna be mainly used for the podcast setup. And speaking of the podcast setup, it is looking a lot more healthy now. We've got our chairs in, we've got our mic screwed in. There's a couple of adjustments we want to make with the lighting and with the positioning of the microphones, but we'll do that later. We also have the, yeah, I'm gonna say this wrong, but this is the, <laughs> the Calyx shelves. These are also going on wheels. And then we have a TV. This is gonna be very useful for when it comes to podcast research topics. Oh, I like your hoodie, mate. I love it. Thanks, man. I got it from this really cool. Yeah, where can they get it? Link in the description, right? Yeah, so it should be on screen, right, right across yeah. here. What about these jeans, huh?
So there's going to be a couple of different people who will be using the desk throughout their time at the studio. So it's quite nice to have the ability to control the height of the desk to suit different people's needs. The standing desk from FlexiSpot was pretty straightforward to set up. Here you can currently see me unboxing their new three stage desk frame E7. The frame supports up to 125 kilograms of weight and has an adjustable width of 110 to 180 centimeters. We can now lift the desk up all the way from 60 centimeters all the way up to 123 centimeters. It comes with a control panel with an LED screen that shows you the height and allows you to program four different presets as well as manual control option to position the desk however you like. So if you are on the lookout for a standing desk, check out FlexiSpot. Table complete. Well done, guys. This table is going to be used for shots over there, product shoots, box openings, whatever. But then, when people aren't using it, people can come over here and they can eat, or they can, they can do away. whatever, have meetings. We can, we can move wherever the hell we want in this room. Some of the last bits for the desk have arrived. We have a dual monitor desk mount, and then we have two monitors, a keyboard and a mouse, WAV link, USB-C Ultra 5K Universe docking station. This is gonna allow us to connect HDMI stuff together. Well, it's that time again where I am stuck under, <laughs> under a desk doing some cable management. I have other videos on my channel that show the process of cable management, so I won't go into much detail in this video. However, one product that I love using is this braided cable management sleeve from Amazon. Link for that will be in the description. We finished the studio off by installing these LED panels from Nanoleaf, and we also hung up some cool artwork. I also purchased a bunch of Philips smart switches and connected them to the podcast light. That way we can now have smart control over the power and use devices such as the Stream Deck to have easy control over the podcast lighting. And now with the press of a button, everything's set up and ready to go. One of the last things to be installed was the rail track around the back end of the studio and the electronic Colorama holder. With the track now installed into the ceiling, the curtains can now go up, allowing us to have a nice background for the game show, as well as reducing the amount of echo you get in the room. So welcome to the new studio! Whoa! We've seen this. Oh my God, what the hell? <laughs> the guys have been here, they've seen the studio, but this is more for you guys. You've been here without me? Well, we've seen this part. You guys stay here. This is the podcast desk setup, and with one press of a button, whoa, we can enable the neon sign. You whoa. like that? And then with one press of a button, we can have all of our lights whoa. turn whoa. on. Whoa. Okay, that's cool. We have a secret button over here. So this is for what? Explain to me. Pressy, pressy. What's going on? Why did you turn into Gollum like Smeagol? Don't know. So what does this do? Turns the light on. Just a neon light. Yeah. And why is that helpful for you guys? For the What's Good section of our podcast. Oh, we've got a podcast, guys. Check it out on YouTube.com. They know, they know. There's like sound panels everywhere to, you know, maximize the make, sound. You know, make it better, not so echoey. Yeah, because the first couple of episodes we did, they were kind of echoey. People complained really about bad. the sound. Yeah, it was really we're sort bad. Of, we're sort of fine tuning things as we go. For sound treatment, we've got extra oh. panels. So when you film. Oh, John, that one's upside down. Ah, uh, John put this one upside down. No, no, he just, he just put the legs on the wrong side. Very light, I'm so sorry. No, no. But, uh, and there's like another two that will seal you guys off. Ooh. So it feels like a nice little private I'll seal you off. He hasn't slept. <laughs> he hasn't slept. <laughs> so he's a little bit like... You're a bit loopy. I would love to have an energy drink if there is a cold place to store them in. We finally found a company that oh, actually... I thought, I, thought, I thought we were standing up. <laughs> that actually delivered oh, us a off. fridge. So... Coming Whoa! through, coming through. Dude. Oh my God, this Oi. is actually sick. My painting! <laughs> I kind of want to get rid of this light. Guys, this hits your head. 
So I stuck these on with double-sided sticky tape. So when you're here, just be cautious that this might fall on your head one day. Yeah, but so far, it's, it's already happened solid. to me, so. Honestly, I thought I was stabbed. The corner hit me here and I was asleep and it hit me and I went. <gasps> you thought you were stabbed, but actually it was just Talia with a special toy? Yes, she put a dildo on my chest. Oh no. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. It's a standing desk. Ah. Over here, we have a blank space for something potentially interesting. Oh, you can stay there and I can play on your oh, joystick. Talia's bought me a, an arcade machine for my birthday. It's going there! It's a nice, beautiful space for it here. Right next to the fridge. Randolph, help yourself to a Red Bull, please. Oh, I'm gonna do this. It's gonna sound really nice. Go on. Oh, that, that was awful. awful. That was really bad. There's, there's a kitchen there, but it's Wait, really let's nice. see the kitchen. Right. Randolph, what's in that? Do you want me to open it? Do you want to just... Wait, no, is it? What is it? You got ice! You got ice! You got ice. <laughs> We have a basketball area. This is gonna be for the game show. This is in the next one. I mean, oh, swish, swish, swish. I wanna, I wanna swish. play. We haven't this one yet, and you have no proof that we have. Okay. okay. What was that? Is it with the light breaks? Oh, we went in. Moving on. You have a basketball arcade thing. You also have a game show. Woo! We have a Dell XPS 17 on top of a desk Jeez. that is always in your studio. This Dell XPS 17 isn't in your studio. This is mine, my laptop. If you did want one, then, you know, check out the link in the description. <laughs> but this desk has wheels on it. So guess what? You can move it around anywhere you want. It'd be weird to bang on. Yeah, it would. So that's... Uh, it would. It'll be weird if... <sighs> you're actually annoying me yeah, now. Really you're actually, you actually piss me off. Okay, try bang on it now, Simon. Great, right? <laughs> <laughs> so much better. <laughs> Connor, I'd like to change this to a different colour. Oh, do you now? Yep. Well, I have this remote control. <laughs> to be fair, that is really good. So we've got a green screen option and a blue for ace grading. Yay! Shout out ace grading. Yay! You could grade this card. Oh, <laughs> you could. <laughs> How do you... You're well prepared today. Can I, can I get a Charizard? The biggest thing that I'm missing out on is this curtain. The curtain is actually really sick. Yeah, because you can make it black. We've installed rail tracks all around this room. So now you have different sections in this big space. You've got your game show section and you've got your podcast section. It's a nice little split. Plus it covers the back wall because that was all brick. It had windows there. Helps with sound of it as well, doesn't it? Helps with sound a lot as well, so it doesn't echo. <laughs> Final thing is here. I guess you're gonna keep tinkering with little bits and adjusting it to how you like. I'm quite proud of this. I'm, I'm actually really, I mean, you know I don't leave the house much and I've been here a lot, which shows how much I like it. Unlike Randolph, who's... What are you... When did we get that? We took that from an old Sideman video. It was the Split or Steel video. Oh, I like this. Oh, before we end it as well, Pokeran Volt X brand new 12 pocket binder. It's bigger than the last one and it's better. You can fit all your cards in here, some more cards in here. Very, very good. Get it now. <laughs> He's so enthusiastic. Right, who is it gonna land on though? Chips. Chips? Chips. <laughs> I think me. Um, how did he? It was just chance. How did he do that? It was just chance. And the best. Should try play play the lottery tonight. You should try to speak that, you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you a private little area where John spends his time. Oh, there's a person there. <laughs> there's, a, there's a Lawrence in here. I'm getting out. Now this is John's area. Why are there yeah. white stains everywhere? Don't put a UV light on there, guys. I was gonna say that'd be gross. I'm just kidding. This is like a back vaccine area. I'm really happy with this. So I'm actually man. really gassed with it. No, guys, I love it. It's really great. Um, I, <laughs> the, the sound's gonna be better now as well. Um, everything's Gucci. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Who should be next? I mean, Vic's got a new house, right? Yeah. Yes, can, he has. Can, yes, can you help me with my music room? Randolph's or Vic's? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who's gonna win. <laughs>
But I'll tell you what's next. My house tour video is next. Maybe a new gym setup. Oh. A new gym setup? A fresh gym. I don't have, I don't you go to gym. Good. I'm trying, we're trying. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you later. You just take, you just take cunt. Four in a row. Flip. Go on Randy.